Hey, 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 my wonderful Geminis. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. We are doing the wonderful sign of Gemini today. Uh, your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus, we're doing your monthly. If you are cross-watching, you need to keep in mind that energy is fluid. So I can say this is Gemini's energy, but if it feels more like your energy, you want to apply the energy where it needs to be placed, okay? Now, with that being said, my lovelies, we are going to take a look at the month, okay, um, of September for you, my loves. Um, keep in mind, if you are part of the Patreon community, you will be able to find an extended version on Patreon, okay? Um, don't worry, if you're on YouTube, I'm not going to leave you out. You're still going to get all the information and you're going to know what you need to do. We're just going to clarify on Patreon, okay? With that being said, we're going to jump right into this, all right? Anything you need to know about me, you can find in the description box below my lovelies including the next moon meditation which is actually coming up tomorrow on the second okay that's the full moon in pisces very powerful transit okay um and the next um zodiac class which is going to be on the asteroid chiron the wounded healer okay you can also find that information in the description box below so let's start off all right Interesting first week, you got self-mastery popping up with solar plexus energy. And you also have the angels and masters card, the number 33 card, which is also a very powerful number when you're dealing with alchemy, okay? Uh, maybe even the occult sciences, okay? Um, so that's a very powerful level of mastery. Three. This is the angel and masters card, divine connection coming in from your soul star chakra. This is a chakra right above your crown chakra. You know, even when I go like this, y'all, I feel the energy. Like right now, I am literally feeling the type, the, the tingling um, of the energy on the top of my crown chakra. Powerful. Okay. Rebirth is also popping up. This is earth chakra energy. This is what's grounding you. This is nurturing energy. This is also... Um, this is also energy from the cosmos here, okay? So you need to be mindful of that too. So you're starting off the week and I really, I want to say maybe um, a spiritual aspect of um, transformation where you are uh, uh, maybe discovering some things about self or discovering some things about someone else that may take you into a place, honey, where you got to um, reinvent yourself, okay? Um, so let's take a look and see what's going on here. Yeah. Okay. So you got the you got energy where um and this could have been linked to a relationship where maybe where you've been isolating yourself or you felt isolated um because you could have been involved in a situation. This could have been a marriage. This could have been a long term relationship. This could have been something very dear to your heart or someone very dear to your heart where um there's really no um I want to say solidified future. Okay. Um, and it's kind of like you may have been um, doing a self-imprisonment or self-isolation or maybe holding on to something um, for a while that may not be coming, okay? You do have someone here. Um, you do have someone here, I want to say, that's very aware or you were dealing with energy or, you know, it could be your energy because you also could be dealing with yourself here now. Um, where you have someone that's very intuitive, someone that's very clear and that may, may be in a place right now where they are speaking the truth, someone that may have gained confidence, um, very intuitive, um, and they're now in a place where they're speaking the truth, okay? Um, and talking about um, a return in their investment, someone may be in a place now where they are coming forth with a lot more confidence um, um, intuitively and, and speaking the truth. Um, and you may not like what the truth is saying, but I kind of feel like this may be the push that's needed to get you along the lines of this rebirth and self-mastery. We're going to clarify this. Someone is going to, something is going to unfold that is going to trigger you into a place where you need to master yourself, okay? Because, yeah. There's, there's definitely maybe an ego is going to be shadowed and especially around a relationship, okay? Something around a relationship. This could be around, you know, family members or a lover, 
friendship, but this is something around a relationship popping off within the first week that's going to call you to really hone in on your mastery. Maybe be a little bit more disciplined in um, all areas of your your heart, your heart chakra, how you feel, um, your throat chakra, what you say, you know, um, your sacral chakra and solar plexus, trusting your instincts and your gut, that type of stuff. Like being able to master all of your sensories coming into this first week and really trust yourself, okay? All right, by the second week, um, you got flexibility, visualization, meditation, and forgiveness popping up. So we got um, we got um, sacral chakra energy. Sacral chakra energy is all about emotions, relationships, and the changes that needs to unfold in those aspects, right? However, this is also where you can find comic patterns, right? So you would definitely want to look at the pattern, um, especially on the emotional aspect aspect of how and and what you bring to relationships or what you expect or accept within relationships that part of um how you see things may need to change you may need to be a little bit more flexible in how you see things because visualization is showing up here um meditation is also showing up and forgiveness which lets me know this first week yeah i kind of feel like this first week is going to push you into a place of rebirth well, you are going to have to be a little bit more flexible and let some things go. What's going on here? You are going to have to be a little bit more flexible and let some things go. You may feel like there's some things incomplete um, happening in the first week, but there's some manipulation going on, okay? Um, and there could be manipulation going on... Um, Maybe some promises being made about um, opportunities or um, priorities. There's some emotional manipulation going on here um, because, you, you know, you or somebody feel like something is incomplete. Six of Wands, you may have gained the confidence um, that you needed um, to speak about some things. Um, some things that may have been broken as far as maybe um, one person um, working on the relationship and one person not, okay? Um, there is manipulation going on here by the, um, like I said, by the second week, emotional manipulation going on because um, of the incompletion. You need to be flexible, but you need to meditate, trust yourself, and forgive yourself in particular, maybe for what you may have ex um, accepted, expected, um, looked over, um, not accept, not embrace, okay? Um, and, and that's really depending um, on the spectrum of where you are. Overall energy that I see within the first two weeks that you would need to pay attention to, It kind of just feel like your your chakras are just all over. You got a lot of energy popping up here, but the one repeated energy that's popping up would be your solar plexus. Now, solar plexus energy deals with your ego and your will. This is where your personal power comes from. This is where your confidence comes from, okay? Um, so whatever's going on here could be messing a little bit with your confidence. So you could be tapping into your personal power if you continue to do the self-mastery that's needed. But it feels like this may have affected your confidence in some shape, somehow, in some way. Uh, at least within the first two weeks. Okay? Clarify that in the, um, in the extension. Okay. Um, yep. By the third week, we got... Yep, solar plexus. I'm sorry, not I'm sucked with chakra energy, emotions, relationship, and a change. You got life purpose popping up, throat chakra energy. Um, and you got creativity popping up, sacral chakra energy. Still a focus on, on this relationship. Still a focus on this relationship coming into the third week. Mm hmm so now, by the third week, it kind of feels like you may be getting your power back. Um, but I still kind of feel like you may be a little bit demanding and communicating um, you, your truth. You communicate. There's a lot of communication going on by the third week, honey. Your throat chakra is active. 
And I want to say, you are not by any means letting, you letting it all ride by the third, the third, um, by the third week. You letting it all ride. And the energy that you're interacting with by the third week, this, you know, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You do got high priestess energy popping up on here on the board, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. So we would definitely need to take that into consideration. Um, yeah, you got a lot of energy on the board. You got the moon card. Um, you got Taurus, Libra, Scorpio on the board. Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. Cancer on the board. This person is not in a position where they may be afraid of this change or trying to stop this change because you are communicating, you want justice, and you want to release things. You don't want to. You don't want to be in fear of whatever is going on here anymore. I feel like. You may have come to terms with some things by the third week. Um, and you may have, um, now you're vocalizing some things. You're vocalizing some things. Now, you know there was some, manipula some manipulation going on in the second week. And that could probably be what you vocalize and maybe why your demeanor is so stern by the third week. Yeah, because they try to play with your feelings, honey. Still very intuitive. This could be water sign energy because this person is highly intuitive. They know you well. Okay? They know you well. But by the third week, you shutting some things down. You letting it be known. And you are not um, as nice about it. It's not It's not coming across nicely um, or dipl in a diplomatic way. Okay? Fourth week, you will have to ground yourself, um, and holistic healing is going to come in. So if you need to speak to somebody, do so. If you need to um, come into a place, I want to say, um, where you're grounding yourself and accepting things, walks in nature, being in tuned and in touch. You got earth chakra energy popping up. This is the chakra right outside of your body that keeps you connected and grounded to the earth. You got um, root chakra popping up with holistic um, health. Root chakra is what's ground you. Root chakra is where your fears lies. This is where um anxieties lie. Okay. This is where money lie, your connection to money, your flight or uh, fight mode lies here. Okay. Ground yourself, heal yourself so you can center yourself and come back to a place of wholeness. Get your peace so you can come to a place of wholeness. All right, so peace of mind is going to be needed for you by the third week. You going and you you may have to work at that. Yeah, you may yeah you may have to work at that because there's some things may be coming out um, by the by the end of the month um, that's make you going to go into that place where you're seeking peace. Mm. Yeah, some shit may go down by the fourth week or coming into the fourth week that's going to cause you to want to. You, you literally may have to go see somebody or, or like talk to, yeah. There may need to be a venting session going on by the end of the month because it looks like there could be some deception going on, uh, maybe even around money by the end of the month or it could be a living situation, work situation, whatever, but there's definitely some type of external um, um, energy coming in here by the end of the month that you're going to have to pay attention to, okay? The energy that they rocking in is like a little bit re rebellious energy, Right, um, definitely a little backstabbing, betrayal type shit. Um, and once again, this could deal with a living situation or a financial situation. But I kind of feel like whatever this is, and, and, and you know, it's, it's kind of like they're using, because they're angry that things may not be working out or things didn't work out. I kind of feel like... Um, the use of um, emotional or maybe even financial um, trying to bait you to get a reaction may be popping off by the end of the month, okay? Now, you really got a choice to make um, as you were transitioning through this energy, to be really, really honest with you, right? Like, you got a choice to make. It's starting off the month telling you that you're going to go through a transition of rebirth and... Um, and healing, really, is your choice whether or not you want to hold on to something and if you know it's not working, right? Are you going to hold on to what you know is not working or are you going to move forward with 
without it. The choice is yours. Hold on or move forward. The choice is yours. Hold on or move forward. The choice is literally yours, okay? Um, th that's the bottom line, really, Geminis, okay? Uh, hold on versus move forward. Okay. All right, so... Choose wisely. That's all I'm, I can really say to you. Just choose wisely, okay? All right, so if you are not joining us on Patreon, um, I want to thank you guys so much for taking the time out to listen to this video, okay? You know the deal. Uh, we mapped it out for the four weeks. You know you're going to be going through some type of transformation, okay? If you are joining me on Patreon, my love, you can stick around. Um, I am going to pause for maybe about 20 seconds before I pick it up on Patreon. So, you know, just stick around, and we're going to go ahead and do the extension on Patreon, okay? Choice is yours once again. You can choose to hold on. Or you can choose to move forward. Choice is yours. You're going to have to choose wisely. Okay? All right. With that being said, I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys in your monthly. Check out the Daily Vibrations as well as the description box below so you can find out what you need to know about me as well as the next meditation coming up. Okay. Bye, my loves. Okay. So, those of you that are joining me on Patreon, I'm just going to go ahead and turn.